up so quick. What was your reaction to that when you, you know, heard that? I, I I feel kind of bad because it wasn't the opponent's fault that it got stopped. It wasn't the um, it wasn't my fault that it got stopped. It wasn't the ref's fault. You know, the ref is doing his job. You know, so at the end of the day, I'm I'm not a fan of booing. You know, I've been booed a couple of times. I've had people boo my opponents. And day, let's cheer, let's clap, let's have a good time. Talk about August 27. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, the August 27th. <laughs> then uh, was Oklahoma, Tulsa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm I'm super excited about that. Rock Cafe. Yeah, at the Rock Cafe. So we're gonna it's a, it's gonna be a great fight, a great atmosphere. You know, I can't wait. It's a it's a it's a venue for. For the making. Richard, uh, we were there for, for your first one and you came out guns blazing, man. You were you were trying to get that guy out of here. This time you definitely kinda took your time and but the shots were landing. I feel like you I don't know if you missed any. <laughs> I mean, I, I think in the same sense guns were still blazing, it was just a different approach. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the first approach was yeah, I wanna get in, I wanna make a scene, I wanna knock out. That was the same approach, but I wanted to do it a different way, you know, just taking a different street that way. Um, so we wanted to box a lot more, establish a jab a little bit. I think we were able to show that we were able to box a little more. And uh, you know, future fights you can see a different Richard too. So every fight we plan for it and you'll see a different fighter, but at the end of the day, I'm the guy that wants to knock out. Was the, the cut happening the first time around, was that part of the reason why, hey, I need to slow down because I can't have accidents like this happen too much? Um, I mean, a little bit of the cut, but at the end of the day, I just want to show off that I could box, you know, and this was the opponent to box with, you know. Uh, and my last opponent, he was, uh, it was really hard to understand what he was doing. He was really kind of uh, weird in that style. This guy, uh, I kind of understood that he wanted those big shots. He wanted to come in out, come in on me. And with that being said, my dad and uh, all the coaches in the training camp put together a game plan and it worked. Richard, are your knuckles hurting from all the punches? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, thankfully my dad wrapped my head really well, you know. But um, uh, back in the ring, uh, and I just feel glad to be able to fight again. And now that I don't have to wait 90 days again to fight, so I'm really excited to fight again. Your weight looks like you've been bulked up a lot above the waist. How's it feel? How's it been taking that out for a spin? I appreciate that, but actually I lost weight. <laughs> yeah, so it, um, it was, I think that was a testament to my diet. That was the biggest thing. I started a nutrition plan. Um, I'm working with my mom and I'm working with a lady from the Olympic Training Center named Taylor. Um, they put the, the plan together, Taylor did, and uh, my mom is putting that into fruition and cooking for me. And uh, together it's unstoppable and I feel, I feel good. <laughs> and, uh, you definitely show. I have to ask you about the ring walk song. Which oh. I had to identify for some of the guys. So, <laughs> what was behind that? It's an unusual choice. I mean, Moonlight Sonata. I think I read somewhere that classical music, uh, it like it helps you think. Um, so when you, when I would do homework, when I would study, I would listen to classical music. And in the Olympics beforehand, I would listen to rap, I would listen to country, anything I wanted to. But when I went to the Olympics, I was like. No, I want to change it up, you know, I want to really feel like I'm in this moment. So in the locker room, I don't listen to music anymore. And uh, going out, I listen to Moonlight Sonata. Yes, it is slower tempo, but I, I like that a little bit. You know, it calms me and it gets me ready for the fight. I got to ask you, man, uh, I'm going around just getting people's reactions. What do you make of this Jake Paul, Hasi Rahman fight? And, and do you have any experience with Rahman at all? I don't have any experience with Rahman, but it's a fighter. You know, he's a fighter. He's, he's, a, he's a, what is he, like 16 and 1 or something mm -hmm. like that? Yeah. Like he's, he's, he's a fighter, so I'm, I'm excited to see this fight. Um, with that being said, I do think Jake Paul is training hard. You know, so with, I, I, I think he's uh, um, going to come in there looking to fight, but this is going to be a testament to see if he's really a boxer now, you know? And uh, I think it'll be a good fight, actually. What do you weigh right now? I'm 224, but I fought at, I was 230 when I won the ring, I think. So there's a rehydration clause on it. He's, he's coming down. What do you make of that? Sheesh. Was he always a heavyweight? Yeah. I think that'll be a little different because he's cutting weight now. Um, so that might be a little more difficult. But at the end of the day, if he has the right program and right training, it wouldn't matter. You know, I've seen a lot of guys that, while I was on the Olympic team and the youth team, um, they, they would cut like 5, 10 pounds a night. You know, and uh, that would mess with them. But if you only have one fight and you have to make it one day of rehydration and even not getting your full girth, but getting enough, I feel like you'll be good. Do you think he wins, Jake, or are you favoring uh, Rockman? I'm not favoring Rockman, of course, because yeah. it's just kind of a whole boxer. -esque. Boxing but um, I do think Jake Paul is learning how to fight. And I think it's kind of cool that we watch him learn how to fight, you know, from the first fight all the way to his last one. You can tell a difference. You know, he is putting the work and he's training hard. So I give him a lot of credit uh, for that matter because it is hard to work out um, when there's no one watching. And there's a couple of times where no one's watching him either. So um, 
I'll, I'll give him credit, but this will te- this will be a testament to see who's actual fight or not. You should talk to me about the mustache, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you keeping it? Yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna keep this for a while. So yeah. uh, my uh, <laughs> my um, a close friend of mine, he used to work at the gym, uh, Macho Mike. He uh, passed away recently, but um, he was an amazing guy, uh, and um, he passed away when I was at the training center in Colorado Springs for my uh, training camp. And we were supposed to set off fireworks when I got back because it's Fourth of July, mm-hmm. and he passed away before we could do that. So, um, in recognition of him and all the good things and memories he had for me, I'm gonna keep the Macho Mike mustache in memory of him. So, it's like awesome, a throwback man. fighter. There you go. That's Appreciate awesome. you guys. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, Richard. Thank you. Appreciate you, brother. Awesome.